Welcome to a Stardew Valley video. I know, it's a bit, it's a bit not, I've never recorded a Stardew Valley video before. I've recently got it. I really like it. I've played like 18 hours already. Um, but I decided I'm going to make a tutorial on how to get through the first seven days with very good success. So here we go. What you're going to want to do, obviously, when you spawn in, you start... You're gonna grab your parsnip seeds, you plant them, because, you know, you free seeds, just plant them. But then you're gonna want to spend some time clearing out your your little area for your farm. Um, I wouldn't go too crazy, but just plant your seeds, water them. I built a path because I had extra wood. Why am I still farming wood? Oh no, oh no, why am I exhausted already? That's bad. Okay, so... I'm going to then go on a little loop of the forest, try and find anything that I can eat to put my energy back up. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to wander around, say hi to some people because we're here. There's not really anything that put my energy up, so we're just going to go over to Pierre's. And normally I'd buy cauliflower seeds because they're very good and they're very, like, really expensive. But <laughs> potato seeds because... This is a one-week tutorial. I'm spent. I'm going to spend all of my money on buying potato seeds, and so we're going to go plant those. And as I said earlier, it's normally you'd get cauliflower, but it's one week here, so we're going to do potato seeds. And yeah, where am I going? Go back up and water the things. There we go. Um, wait. Editing me? Why did you slow recording me down? Please no. 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 Don't do it. Why? No. No, I'm passing out on day one. No. O okay. That... That's bad. Day one passing out is not great. Anyways, we're going to get back to our doing. Linus saved us, so now we're just going to water all our plants. Um... And then we are going to go down, do another loop, because for some reason our energy didn't go back up at all. Um, and then we're going to get on to the most important aspect of money making in this game. This farming game, the most important aspect is fishing. Because, you know, that makes sense. Well, anyways, I'm going to skip the cutscene because I've already seen it like a million times. But you get a bamboo fishing pole from that. You're going to want to go over to the lonely rock there. You can see it. It's the rock. Uh, empty out as much space in your inventory as you can. And then just go fishing near the rock. Because for some reason it puts your quality of fish up if you fish near the rock. But the way fishing works in this game is you'll get an exclamation point above your head. You, you have to reel in. You might get trash, but you'll probably get a fish. You have to keep the green bar behind the fish. The first fish you catch, it will just, it won't go down, but any fish after that will make the qual the bar go down. So anyways, we're going to do a little bit of fishing, do a lot of bit of fishing, because we basically emptied our inventory. Um, yeah, so we didn't have that much energy still, but you might get trash once in a while. It's not really helpful at this point in the game. But yeah, so we also found a clam shell because those are pretty good. They give you 50 gold each. But we also sold all our fish into the box of death. You're going to want to put all your stuff in the box, by the way. That's how you sell things. But as you can see, we got 614 gold from fishing on day one at like no energy. So that's pretty crazy. Anyways, day two, it's raining. There was more shells. I don't need to water the crops because it's raining. Go straight back to fishing. Literally, the only thing in this game you need to do to get money is go fishing. Like, there's... You, like, you don't even need to fish all of the time. Like, you can still do other things. I'm already at level 2 fishing. That, I think, makes the green bar a little bigger. And also, now I have the recipe for bait. I'm not going to use bait. It's not really needed at this point. It's only if you're trying to catch, like, tons of fish. But this isn't how to make as much money as po possible and... It, I mean, it is, but... Anyways, the fortune teller can actually be helpful because you can check what fortune of the day is, and if it's bad, you're probably not going to get as many fish. You're going to get more trash. But 
I still got pretty lucky. I got a, quite a few fish. Um, yeah, I got a geode as well, just from wandering around. But anyways, so yeah, we sold all our fish that we got. We cleared out a little more land. We're not really needing it, just makes it look better. But then there's not really much else to do, so we're going to put down some paths and go to bed. And as you can see, 425 gold. Still pretty fantastic, considering I went fishing for maybe an hour in in-game. Like, f f five minutes in real life. I got a cat named Steve, and straight back to fishing. Because, you know, we've gone over this. All you need to do is fish. I'm pretty sure that the view retention on this video is going to go down because I gave away the secrets in the first, like, 30 seconds. But all you need to do is fish. Just go fishing. Just kind of wandering around right now, saying hi to people. I've already over tripled my gold on day. Oh, it's Friday, so it's almost the end. But we sold our first crop. Here's a comparison of we got 560 from farming and 701 from fishing. We got more money from fishing than we did from farming. How? Anyways, it's raining again, so we are going to go straight back down and go fishing again. Because there's nothing else to... <laughs> if you don't want to make money, just go fishing. We already made 3,000 gold, and you start with 500, so we've made a decent amount of money. But, uh, yeah, there wasn't really much that we needed to do, so I just sold my fish and just went wandering. Kind of talked to some people, went fishing in the river to get some different fish. Just, yeah, kind of just wandered around, said hi to Linus. I went mining for a little bit. I wouldn't recommend mining. It's not needed unless you need, like, a specific ore. But that's when you just open it to multiplayer and get your friends to do it. So, yeah, we're just going to pet the cat and go to bed. <clears throat> and as you can see, 712 gold from fishing. Really easy. But um, we are now on the final day obviously, because it's Sunday and we started on Monday. So I just, I don't really do much on Sunday. I just go wandering around and I go fishing for a little bit. My inventory is basically full at that point. So I just get a few fish and leave. We get some, a little more gold from quests and stuff. Learn how to cook some stir fry. And then we just basically go to bed. But, now that you can see our total amount of profits, we sold some more potatoes. We barely went fishing today, and we got half of what we got from farming. So, yeah, that's how to get an, an it's pretty crazy amount of gold in very little time. We got 5,300 gold in a, on our first week. Which isn't, like, crazy, but it's enough to do most stuff. You can buy, like, a tree now, you can... If you do two weeks, you could get a chicken coop, which is basically un... I've never heard of that happening before. But, yeah, I didn't... It wasn't even like I spent my entire time, like, fishing. I spent a good amount of time fishing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial on how to get rich in Stardew Valley without any real struggle or grinding. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.